Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the Replace Material 3D node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and I've got a little setup with uh, four spheres and some lights in our render node. So as we know, we've gone over uh, materials within uh, our little shapes and this isn't textures. We're not getting into textures yet, but uh, speaking of actual materials on our shapes, we can go in and we can change our shape color with uh, materials. And if you remember right, we can uh, bring in media and input it. So we have a uh, material on our shapes and it's animated with our media. So we could go through and say, use the same media and input it on every single one or do what you got to do to get your material straight. But there is a node that makes this easier. And that is the uh, replace material 3D node. So let's go ahead and bring in a replace material 3D node. And what this node allows you to do is replace any materials above where you uh, input your material replacer node. So if we put it in here, we can replace all those materials with this one single node. So now all of our materials are changed. And if we brought this into, say, our uh, line after our merge, we can still do the same thing. And it's not going to affect any uh, lights or cameras or anything going into it. It's only going to affect things that actually have materials assigned to them. So let's go ahead and put that back here so this all makes sense. And we're going to bring our material back in. Now within the material replacer node, we can either enable it or disable it. Under the replace mode, we can change how it replaces each individual color, the R, the G, the B, and the alpha. So we've got replace, we've got keep, blend, and multiply. So let's go and leave that on replace. And underneath, we can limit by object ID. So if we select limit by object ID, we can pick which object we want to assign that to. So if we go to our first shape and look at our object ID, it's object ID one. Our second is two. Our third is three. Our fourth is four. So we can come in here and limit it by a single ID. So we can uh, change that up to whichever one we want, or we can do a range. So say one and two, we want to be that material. And if we wanted to bring a second material in, we could. So we could just copy this and put it. And uh, let's change this from three, four, and we can bring in a different material and replace that for our other two. So there we go. We just replaced our material based off the object ID for our four spheres. Now, additionally, you can limit by material ID. So within our shapes, if we go to our material, we can change our material ID. So if we wanted to limit this to two, then we've got uh, those two changed because this material is two. Our second one is two. If we look at our third one, we've also got two and two. And what's happening here is our object ID is overriding our material ID. So if we uncheck that and limit to material ID, all of them have changed. So that is the replace material node. 
I will see you in the next Node Breakdown.